Like, we got him really back up against the wall. He really ain't got nowhere else to go. But that whole right. thing is That's right. He doesn't have any scholarships. So he has to go yeah. sneak around, phoning you know, old, old women and trying to get information that, you know, deal with the scholarship. That's, you know, you, you say you're going to debunk my book. I'm a Nigerian fraudster, yeah? So I'll come and deal with this book. Stop trying to contact <laughs> old women. Come and deal with this book. That's why I'm here. Hey, to Harkin, he can't get with the book, man. That's all. I said, you know, if, I'm a, if, I'm a, if I'm a fraud, I'm a trash researcher, come, let's deal with the book, page for this, page. This is a proper written book, bro. That's it. Simple. I've got I mean, nothing to say. What I've got to say is in the book. <laughs> yeah, salute to the book, man. This is this is a good written book, man. Yeah, you know what I mean? I mean Trimmer the Coffee Piece of War Turn. I'm back. I'm moving forward to this next uh disturbing piece. Uh I wanna send a special shout out to Nibu Reno Nunupu for um bringing this to my attention and uh we both did some research on this and uh, i just went a little bit further he just point, he brought something to my attention as far as his part dealing with sheikh daoud and uh the rest of these individuals in here so i'm gonna read from um the from the book and then i'm gonna give you some extra information to show you what's what's going on here all right all right so uh all right because he started lying and stuff up here all right and you see york himself refers to his mentor and spiritual advisor was none other than the father of islam in america noble haji talu daoud amar fossil more commonly known as sheikh daoud the sheikh had been a family acquaintance for many years and had initially employed York's mother, Mary and Mary, as his secretary since York was a baby and was the one who issued him the Islamic birth certificate in 1946 and would now be responsible for York's adolescent teenage education for the next few years. Again, York never said his mother is the one that issued him the birth certificate uh, Islamic. She, York always said he got that from uh, Sheikh Daoud, rest in peace. Now let's go. Although there are many black leaders teaching different variations of Islam in America at the time, such as Noble Joel Lee, rest in power, the Honorable Elijah Muhammad, rest in power, Talib Daoud, rest in power, was the only person of African descent officially authorized by the Ahmadiyya leadership in Pakistan to spread Orthodox Islam in the United States during the 40s and 50s. Like York, that will pass and shroud is that was past and should be is shrouded in mystery with some sources alleging he was born in the city of Fez, Morocco in 1891 and is said to have migrated to the island of Antigua in the West Indies in 1901 at the age of 10 with his mother and father, the age of 16, that would travel to the United States alone following the death of his father Abu Bakr Talib Idris after studying under numerous Islamic scholars including Sheikh Adam of Madagascar and Sheikh Khalid of Saudi Arabia Daoud converted to Ahmadiyya Islam whilst attending Cambridge University in the United Kingdom as part of a scholarship program for gifted youngsters where he studied English program for gifted youngsters where he, uh, excuse me, where he studied English language and literature in 1926, he also attended the Juilliard School of Music in New York. Therefore, Dow will go on to become a proficient multi-instrumentalist, playing violin, banjo, and jazz trumpet, first under the stage name Alfonso Nelson Rainey, later performed under his Islamic name, Talib Dawood, at concerts in Symphony Hall, and later with several legendary jazz artists on the East Coast, including Duke Ellington, Louis Armstrong, and Dizzy Gillespie, and female jazz vocalist Miss Dakota Staten. The two fell in love and eventually married with Miss Staten, later adopting the Islamic name first to Aliyah Rabia, then to Saida Khadija. That old name appears amongst the 
credited performers on Dizzy Gillespie's and, and Lee Morgan's classic 1958 big band jazz LP Burke's Works. After officially leaving the music industry, I was credited with converting hundreds of artists to Islam and black nationalism along with Egyptian scholar Mahmoud Awan and Jamaican author and anthropologist J.E. Rogers, who together formed the Islamic and African Institute of Philadelphia in 1957. Daoud is listed as being one of the great Muslim influencers credited with influencing many prominent African-American artists towards Islam and black continents. Daoud's relationship to York, along with his involvement with spreading black continents within the music industry, placed him in prime position as a strong candidate to be the true identity of the founder of Nawabian philosophy, Amanu Rockefeller, better known as Afuna, which we shall discuss later. Again, we already told you this was a, a blatant lie to say Sheikh Daoud, rest in peace, had anything to do with anything outside of Islam. All right? There's no Nawapu in the 50s because sound right reason did not make contact to, with Afro through 1962. Five years later, the word Nawapu pops up in the BIAE. So stop the lying. All right, you still lying on everybody you mentioned. I'm reading so far deceased, and you just you still going on with this lie. All right, this is a uh, a little some artist work because I've seen this earlier in color, so I know where he got this from. All right, this is Glepsy, the Lee Morgan's 1950 LP Burke Works featuring Tali Dao on trumpet. All right, fluent in several languages including English, French. Classical Moroccan dialects of Arabic, Sheikh Dowd affiliated himself with a number of Islamic organizations such as Al Ikhwani Muslim, Muslimun, or the Muslim Brotherhood of Egypt, the Ahmadiyya movement of Pakistan, the Wahhabi movement of Saudi Arabia, along with a group called the Canaanite Temple, later renamed the Moor Science Temple of America. I can't, man. I. Oh. Uh, Abba, I may have to bring you in on this one. This is the ridiculousness. Oh my goodness. All right. It was while at the Moore Science Temple that he met and befriended the group founded Noble Drew Ali during the mid 1920s. Although the two men were later drifted apart for ideological reasons throughout the years, Sheikh Dow will say that spoken highly of Noble Drew Ali's efforts to raise the conscience of American blacks with the unique brand of Moore's teaching. It was because of his affiliation with these various Islamic groups. That Sheikh Daoud was said to have encountered a young Palestinian, Pakistanian militant by the name of Fuad Abdul Wali Muhammad, whom York claimed was the real master of Fuad Muhammad, who later formed the Temple of Islam, which eventually became the Nation of Islam, which came to prominence during the early 60s under the Honorable Elijah Muhammad. It's through his time spent with Sheikh Daoud and his wife that York developed his interest and talent as a musician, later pursuing his own career into the music industry first. As a professional <clears throat> R&B singer named Dr. York, the love man, in the years that followed, York would also adopt Sheikh Dow's exact same strategy of converting artists and entertainers to his movement as a means by which to spread black consciousness through the industry. Then eventually, the general masses. All right, here we have Sheikh Dow's wife, Dakota Staten, on the left. And then he said, this is Dakota Staten. AKA Saida Khadija on the right. This is pure lies and deception. And this is what I mean that the Wapians or Sabians who have mental instability and worship of flesh disorder will go to these great lists, limps to lie on deceased people. All right, then it says. York's mentor Sheikh Dowd, Amal Fossil, a.k.a. Alfonso Nelson Rainey with Jazz Band. Molize. Alright, so now, what we about to do now, we about to go and do a little bit more adding on. Alright, so that's what I'm about to do. So what we're going to do is go here. <clears throat> First of all, this is Sheikh Dowd, Amal Fossil. 1891 to 1980. Which you can see he was, it goes into the Islamic Mission of America and State Street 
how he started and all of that. All right, what must be known, like I said, we're just going to keep certain things in play. So we know this is Sheikh Dawood, right? To the left. In the white. All right. Uh, he was born in Fez, Morocco. All right. So we're just going to make sure we know that. So you got the name Jafar out the left to the left. Sheikh Dawood to his uh, left. Abdul Hassan to his left. And Dawood A. Harun to his left. All right, so from left to right. So this is just, you know, um, an article I found that talks about some of his accomplishments and things like that. All right, so we got all of this going on. All right, here's another picture of him right here. All right, so the first thing we need to deal with is that this clown was saying that Sheikh Daoud was a trumpet player, then converted to Islam. This is pure foolishness. All right, pure foolishness and deception. Again, when you go into what he was doing, it breaks down where he came from and all of that. That that elder had nothing to do with the stuff that he's saying. All right, now. What this, what uh, Tahaka with his idiotic self have done is mix Sheikh Daoud, rest in power, with Talib Daoud, right? Now, this is Talib Daoud. Hold on. Right here. An Ahmadiyya Muslim and trumpet player. In the Willie Hayes Band in Chicago, Dawood's Muslim faith would influence other prominent jazz musicians of the era, such as Yusuf Latif, saxophonist for John Coltrane. The Muslim forms in the jazz scene would make its way into jazz masterpieces, such as Coltrane's A Love Supreme. This is Ta Talud uh, Dawood, who turned became an Ahmadiyya Muslim later on, but he was a trumpet player first. All right, let's read a little bit. All right, Talu Amar Dawood, formerly known as Alfonso Nelson Rainey, right? See? Now, when you go back up to here, look what he said by, eight, by, by Sheikh Dawood, right? He mixed the man name in there, Talu. He threw that in there. See down here? Alfonso Nelson Rainey inter, inter, uh, later performing under his Islamic name, Talib. Dawood, but he's saying that Sheikh Dawood was this man, and this man was Sheikh Dawood. This is why people like him should not be allowed to spit foolishness. It's one thing to be misinterpreting certain type of information, but this dude is straight pure lying. This is this is ridiculous. See, Sheikh Dawood. What he did was mixed Sheikh Dawood with another dude named Talib Dawood. Dawood. See, he can't even spell right. But this is the guy right here. These are two different people. See, this is the one that was the jazz player. And look, this man was born in January 26, 1923 on Antigua. See, this clown here, see, look how he mixed it up. Let's get down the way it said. It should be up here. Hold on. All right. In 1926, he also attended the Juilliard School, da, 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 playing violin. Let me go back. All right. Right here. It says, some sources are alleging he was born in the city of Fez, Morocco in 1891. All right. So we know that this is Sheikh Dao. He was born in 1891, 1980, right? You do a little circuit to tell you that he was born in Fez, Morocco, right? This idiot here is mixing them two right here, right? Okay, uh, he converted to Ahmadiyya Islam. That's the second guy, all right? 
as part of his scholarship program, which I'm going to show you all this later, for gifted youngsters where he studied language and literature. In 1926, he also attended July School of Music in New York. Thereafter, Dow would go on to become a proficient multi-instrumentalist, playing violin, da 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 trumpet first under the stage name Alfonso Nelson Rainey, Later performed on his Islamic name, Talib Dawood, at concerts and symphony, and later with several legendary. So the second guy is who he's talking about, but he's attaching all this to Sheikh Dawood. This is the, this is the sickness. See? Because he mixed the birthplace of both. He's, his, Dawood's path is shrouded in mystery with some source of the legend he was born in, the, in Morocco. That's, that's Sheikh Dawood, and it's said to have migrated to the island of Antigua. This is foolishness, because this is where this man comes from. It tells you right here, born January 20, January 26, 1923, what? On Antigua. So he's mixing. That one came from Antigua and Barbuda, taking lessons from his father, a trumpet, trumpeter who played in marching bands. His mother was a singer who accompanied herself who, who accompanied herself on piano. That would also learn banjo and pipe organ. He had his further education in the United States at a high school and music school he experienced in the United States came at the, came as the end of 1930s to New York because of the support of the Biomer Foundation. He first took the stage name Barry Rainey after studying at the Juilliard School in 1940. See, he went to the Juilliard School. Here he said that uh, after studying under numerous Islamic scholars, including Sheikh Adam of Madagascar, Sheikh Khalid of Saudi Arabia, that would convert to Abu Dhabi Islam while attending Cambridge University, blah, 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 blah. Okay, 1923, he also attended the Juilliard School of Music in New York. So he said in 1926, he did it. Here, it said he attended uh, after studying at the Juilliard School in 1940. That's almost a 20-year difference. Do you do y'all see what I'm talking about? Trash researcher, straight lying. But this is this is worse than that. This is straight lying in favor of York and lying on Sheikh Daoud and Talib Daoud in order to create a, a a history that never occurred to connect York to the jazz scene because they. They heard that Afro Uno liked jazz, in which we heard that from uh, Sipu's nephew, and he said that they did like the jazz scene, and Sun Ra all of them was hanging around that. But this is what this clown is doing. He's taking stories and reworking the story and lying on these people, trying to make a way for York. He's he he's way more sick than the rest of a lot of y'all that's following your and believing. This dude is actually inventing because he learned this from your to change reality by way of writing and hope you believe it. All right, so it says, Sheikh Nasir Ahmad of Ahmadiyya missionary through whom he converted Islam and took the name Talib Dawood in the second half of the 1940s. All right, so let's see what he says here. All right, let's see. All right. It doesn't say, just say he converted to Ahmadiyya Islam while, while attending Cambridge, all right? So here, in Philadelphia, you met Sheikh Nasir Ahmad an Ahmadiyya missionary through whom he converted to Islam but took the name Talib Dawood in the second half of the 40s. And again in 56, he was a member of the Dizzy Gillespie Big Band performing with the 1957 at the Newport Jazz Festival. In 1954, he married Saida Fazel of Cleveland, Ohio. His second marriage, they bore daughter Rafika and his second son Idris after having a son Farouk by his first marriage. In 1958, he then married the singer Dakota Stanton he was no longer working as an active musician since 1959 and operated an African import shop in New York City as a member of the Ahmadiyya Muslim community, which distanced itself from the nation of Islam. He wrote numerous articles in African American Chicago Daily Crusade on the controversy between Elijah Muhammad and Malcolm X. In his later years, he took up the study of martial arts 
in his native country, Antigua, and became a multi-degree black belt in three disciplines in Sensei. Alright? So now we really so now we know that this guy, rest in power, and this guy, rest in power, are not the same. But this fool said so. Alright? Now let's get down to the next band of foolishness. Because this is just the dumbest stuff ever. Now here he's saying that this woman and these two are the same. Alright? The woman on the left, her name is Dakota Stanton. Alright? She was born 6'3", 1930 and died 4-10-2007. The woman on the right, rest in power for both of them, that is Amar Foss, um, Sheikh, I, um, Sheikh Daoud Faisal's, Faisal's wife. She was born 1899 and died 1992. She was born in um, Bermuda. Dakota Stanton was born in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. All right, so let's just, let's do some comparison here just so y'all can see this. All right, so we can go Let's go up here. There she go. This is the code of stat. This is just a discography. Discography. All right. She was born June 3rd, 1930, in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. Died April 10th, 2007, in New York City. She was into jazz. All right. So now, again, now we're gonna jump into attributed shape that old fossil right so we already it's a it's somebody that wrote about him very much who's very uh close to him all right so we're going to jump down so we can just look at just a, a picture real quick of uh shake Dow's wife rest in power so as you can see if you look at her real good her parents was 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 punjab punjab and her mother was african and even though she was mixed, you can still see the strong Indian or Punjab features. Okay? You can still see that. So, it's no way these two are the same. This is how you know people got spells on them. Because if you look at that, it's no way them two are the same. It's pure foolishness is this ignorance to think so all right just look at that look at those two it's disrespectful and this fool is, is getting money off of deceased people who other people uh cared about and these people really did some type of work in the community this is this is insane all right so let's let's jump into this real quick all right let's go back all right so this article just give you some background from the from the person that wrote this right and I was just going down they were just going into you know how he met them and things like that now I want you to look at this right here York's mentor, Sheikh Daoud Amar Fossil, aka Alfonso Nelson Rainey. No such thing. Alright? This right here is also a lie. Because I was doing research. Right? He don't, he don't point out who, but this is the one he's talking about that's in the middle. He's talking about this guy. Now when you go down here, right? What do you see? This guy's name is Ahmad Abdul Malik. All right? This is not 
no shake that old on here. Look at this. How in the world that looks any of those men look like look like this man? Just somebody, somebody help me with this. This is shaped that old Amal fossil, right? Even if you come here, which is a, a color picture up front, you can look at the face and the nose, right? How's how's that him? It's not. It's this man, the music of Ahmad Abdul Malik. This is him right here. See? All right, let's read a little bit more about him. All right, the music of Ahmad Abdul Malik is the third album by Double Bassett. Aou player Ahmad Abdul Malik featured performance recorded in 1961, originally released on the New Jazz label. Right? Reception. Eugene Chad Bourne of All Music said this, this jazz music of Sudanese descent shows up here and there on recording sessions from the 60s, including the extent as a member of the Thelonious Monk combo. He also played Aou and took part in a variety of attempts to blend his roots music with jazz out of which this is one of the most successful. No, Abdul Malik was actually of Caribbean descent, right? If you look at some of the music, Night on Saturn, The Hustlers, Owl Blues, Lake Ickby, Don't Blame Me, Hannibal's Can of uh, Carnivals, Abdul Malik Bout, Bass, Aoud, um, where he played clarinet and percussion, right? You jump back over here. All right, so even down here, the original tape of this, Thelonious Monk, Recorded, found in the archive of the Library of Congress 2005 can be seen in the clip below. All right, so even you come up here, even said that. This jazz, this jazz musician shows up here and there on recording sessions from the 60s, including a stint as a mem member of Thelonious Monk. All right, so now we got all that out of the way. So this 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 person is not, it has, is not Sheikh Daoud. This not even Talib Dawood. This is Abdul. It's Ahmad Abdul Malik. So this is pure evidence that this guy is sick and he has no respect for anybody. And I'm, con now before I just thought his research was trash, but this is intentional. This is intentional blasphemy to upgrade York and make all these other individuals who may have been around each other because back then, you know, jazz was 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 a big thing and merge these different people. This guy is the worst thing I've ever seen. And anybody that's working with him should be ashamed of themselves because all of y'all are guilty of not checking this crap before y'all threw it out. And all these people who had this book, y'all are just as ignorant and dumb and complicit to this conspiracy to commit literary fraud to make your look like this, that, and the third and lies on top of lies. This is just, this is just ridiculous and nobody has to lie on this trash garbage. Chew me the car in the peace and wartime.